You're a developer that typically builds new construction houses, am I right in saying that? And I do a lot of flips as well. You do a lot of flips Absolutely, as well? Absolutely, yes. Would you just strip the whole thing? A lot, a lot of stuff, yes. Okay. You want us to save the kitchen as well, David? I'm not saying save the kitchen, but I think you can open it up. <laughs> okay. And it would then, you'd have a great space. Yes. What about systems, David? Anything updated or is everything 1959? <laughs> terrible lighting, terrible cabinets, terrible color. What about the bathrooms? The bathrooms, obviously, I accept the fact that you wouldn't want to change the bathrooms. Thank you. And the yeah, kitchen. No carpet in the bathroom. What kind of tiles oh, were underneath carpet. this? Carpet in the bathroom. Why would Yikes. you do that? <laughs> Two bedrooms, yes? Yeah? Two bedrooms. Here's bedroom one. And actually, I've got to tell you, this is a great size. Very private. No. The privacy is amazing. No. But it's too old. You know what I mean? You're looking for a certain fire over here. This is it. Two bedrooms mm -hmm. and a terrible kitchen. But it's not terrible, is it? It's, it's terrible. OK. What's happening, man? How's everything? You doing well? Yeah. You'll like this. This was, this was Howard Hughes's girlfriend's house. Which one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so one of the only, if not the only, rooftop decks in Truesdale. Oh, cool. You have a buyer? Uh, I have a couple guys. A couple guys. All right, so you know Truesdale. You know the Truesdale area. What's nice about this house is you pull up a long private driveway. Every other house all in Truesdale, you sort of just drive right in. So yeah. it sort of makes it feel like it's above all the rest of them. So this is your typical Truesdale mid-century modern one-story so this was originally priced at like 15. We're now down to 10995. Excellent. Yeah. So this is all original over here. How cool is this? This is like a staple for a house in the 60s, right? I'm feeling that there was some key party in here. That's what I'm feeling. <laughs> What you have here is a beautiful kitchen, and what's nice about this is that it has an outdoor patio area. They actually raised the roof in here, so the roof originally is just this. So they raised it another two feet, which is quite an overhaul. A lot of things about this house that I like is it completely opens up. You've got a fire pit out there. It's all private. I like this as like a zen meditation area. What's actually unique about this property is you have two yards. You've got the front yard and the back, which is rare in Truesdale. You've got the master over here. A couple other bedrooms down there, as oh, well as over there. This is the original closet. Cool. They actually cool. knocked this wall out. Nice. Built out that closet so you have a proper his and hers. You know that you can't find anything under 10 million. Not That's, in this condition. Right, correct. Here we are. Wow, it didn't look so blue in the photos. It's oh. on a super busy street, Josh. Oh, uh, yeah. It has sidewalks, which are kid-friendly. Let's just give it a chance. You never know. We're learning together. This is a process. Quiet. So quiet. Look, we're dealing with a budget here. Hello. Hi there. How do you do? Uh, good, my friend, Lake. Josh. Good to meet you this again. Heather. Hi. Hi, Heather. Hi, Heather. So nice to meet you. Me too. My name is Charles Lee. Yeah, come on in. This is a gorgeously remodeled colonial home. That's nice. It's a little traditional. It's a four bedroom, four bath. When was the remodel completed? Just last year. What we have here is a grand room, open floor plan concept. All right, would you like to look at the outside? Has it always been the same color? No, it's changed. What was it before? I think it's more lighter color. You should have kept it. I don't get the color, but that's a quick fix. This is all hardscape. There's nothing the really lines. soft and inviting about it in general. And look, Plus, you have neighbors. the high rise that can see into your pool. Is it worth going upstairs? 